on the uh, reporting, uh, specifically the PDF reports that we provide, that we offer in, um, in our apps. Today we're going to be using an iPad simulator uh, and um, as you see in front of you I've created a, a log with just a few expenses. We'll look at all the new templates that are available for creating reports and how they can be customized uh, how they can be cu customized uh, for your needs. Um, there's quite a few new templates, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of new uh, reporting options now. Um, now this, this particular video will just show the different templates and give you uh, some insight as to the new ultimate custom uh, reporting tool that we offer now. Um, and then I'll be a separate video. But let's take a look at all the new templates, get, get an idea of what the app can do now to fulfill your expense reporting needs and then also give you an idea uh, that will uh, how it can be customized and to take a look at um, uh, maybe a small bit of the customization but that's going to be in another video which will which is available uh, now as well so let's take a look if we um, if we go to the export or email screen uh, we'll, we'll come to this uh, common screen this uh, should look fairly familiar. We, we've, uh, we've changed it a, uh, s somewhat, but um, let's take a look uh, a little, little further. Right at the top, you'll see uh, I've selected PDF, which is what we're going to be talking about today. The, the templates are all specific to PDF reports, so keep that in mind. If we look at the template, uh, the, the current template is selected expenses by category. I filled in the company logo, which will be included in the report. Um, you can do this as well. Um, uh, body categories refers to, uh, in this case, the expenses by category has a single body, and we're going to we choose automatic so that the category, um, the categories are all chosen automatically. But if you wanted to, you can select manual and choose only those categories you want included in the report. Uh, show only, that's a, that's a new field. That allows you to, um, to set one or more payment types so that you can filter out the payment types. So for example, if there were payment types that you only want included in the report, you could tap those and uh, only those will get uh, filtered into the report. I'm just going to clear that, go back. Um, then there's two detail sections. That, that's been around where you can specify what categories in the detail section. Um, new is an advance field that refers to the cash advance you'd receive from your company. In this case, I entered in hundred dollars to make it look interesting. Um, that would be the hundred dollars the company had given you in cash, and that you um, uh, would able to be able to spend. And then um, the reports will give you a balance of what you do the what the company is due you if you did not if you spent more than the hundred, or what you you need to give the company back if you spent less than a hundred. So let's take a look at each of these reports one by one. We'll export them, I'll bring them on screen, and we'll talk about them a little bit. So let's do them one by one. Let's go to the first one, by category paid by employee company. Create the port for that. I'm going to bring it on screen now. And there it is. So it has two bodies, two set, two bodies here. The first body is the expenses paid by the employee. And the way that's done is that you specify it's cash and credit card. In this case, that's how I entered uh, those expenses. And then there's a second body, which is um, the, those expenses paid by the employer through, in this case, a company credit card, which has been indicated as American Express. We have two detail sections. And then we've got this, uh, we have this, um, uh, what, I, what we call footer which includes the grand totals and how much is either due the company or due the employee. In this case, we didn't, we didn't spend all the $100, so we owe the company back some money. Bring that screen up again. Now, just to refresh your memory, we just looked at this report, but uh, as you see, we're only showing cash and credit card because those are the payment types that this particular employee uses out of their pocket. 
and the company uh, provides an American Express card which is used and is paid by the company. Um, let's take a look at the next report. This is a by week paid by employee company. We'll create that report. I'll bring it on screen. And let's see, there it is. So as you see over here, total paid by employee, total paid by company. We've got the week across the, the top, and then we've got the categories across the side. We've got the total expenses completely for this particular uh, trip, and we've got the detail sections, and then the how much is due the company. Let's take a look at the next report. Now this one should look familiar. This one was already part of the, the app previous to this upgrade. Categories across the top, dates across the side, detail section, total, and how much is due the employee. In this case, this report does not have the concept of uh, a paid by employee, paid by company um, payment types. So everything is paid by the employee, and then the advance comes out of how much they've spent, and this is due 437. So a, a different circumstance for a different company. Now this is a variation of the report we just looked at. It includes a col columns for VAT. Now if, um, if you don't use VAT, you would not use this report. Um, I didn't enter in VAT values, tax values for these different expenses, but if, they, if I did, they'd show up here. Expenses group by category. This is a, a very popular request. Take a look at it. Each category is broken down with all the expenses and a total associated. In this case, it's very simple because there's just one expense per, per category. Scroll down. Here's the total. There's the advance. Okay, let's look at the next one. It's by client. I'm going to zero out the advance so you can see what it looks like if you don't have an advance. Create the report. I'll bring it on screen here. There we go. Now I'm creating these live. This is not; uh, these are not reports that I um, that I built up and and are just bringing them on. These are being this they're being built live, and then I'm just opening them up. So just uh, just let you know that uh, we've created some fictitious clients named Bob and Jim. Uh, these entries don't have a client associated with them, so they're unassigned. There's the subtotals of the unassigned, the client Bob, client Jim, and then the, the total. There's no advance, so the company is due the full amount. Let's take a look at the uh, next report by date. This is another popular one because this is how uh, people most often see it on screen. Open this up here. So we have one expense for the 15th of January and a series of expenses and mileage entry entry for the 16th. So that's how that report looks. Let's group by payment. You can guess what that looks like. We've got the American Express, cash, credit card, and then mileage is a category all in itself. And then there's the total. Let's continue looking at the reports. Expenses one week. That should look familiar. That was a report format that was in uh, the app before the enhancement. Um, clean things up a little bit, but it, looks, it should look pretty similar. We've got the one week going across the top. The categories going across the side. Uh, the daily totals on the bottom, the grand total in the corner here, and then the, the details sections, and then the footer. Okay, let's continue. 
Now, this is one week with VAT. I'll quickly show this. This is for those people who are um, have uh, need to include VAT. Scroll nothing. Okay, very similar. The mileage report. It's going to be very simple since we have only one mileage entry. Okay. Now this is this is an interesting report paid by company versus employee. This is a similar to what we saw before, but a, a, a different layout. Um, it actually is one of the primitive reports we can create in this uh, in this uh, this app. So very interesting. Paid by company column total at the bottom. Paid by employee. Here's all of the different. Um, you can see all the different payment types that are assumed to be paid by the employee. And then um, you've got the paid by employee amount, less advance, we don't have an advance, then do the company. Now, perhaps maybe if we look at this, you can see that um, uh, the advance is set to zero. And um, that's, that's why it came out the we saw it there. All right. So um, I think that's that's all regarding the templates. Let's just go back to say the expenses by category. I want just uh, take another perusal of this area here, where you can once again set the different payment types if you wanted to. If not, it defaults to all of them. The detail section. What what categories included in that particular detail section? and um, the advance. Now, uh, this is going to conclude this particular, this particular uh, video. This, is, this describes the different templates that are part of the report, a part of the app, without buying the add-on. If you purchase the add-on, then you will see these edit buttons here. You'll have the new template option, and you'll be able to customize and create new templates um, based on based on four primitive types that we allow, and then you have an unlimited amount of customization that you can do. So um, if you're all interested in, in creating your own custom reports using the, the ultimate custom tool, please take a look at the next video. Thank you.